You know, everybody talks about why the Rio Link doorbells are so good. Let me show you in some technical detail why they are good. So got my uh, Wireshark running here, <clears throat> ignoring IP addresses of other servers I don't want to see. And uh, here is my interface on my micro tick switch for the doorbell. Let's turn on PoE and let's watch what it does. I want you to see all the traffic. So here we go, auto on and apply. Here we go, DHCP discover. It's up. So <clears throat> that was like 10 packets. And what it's done is it's reached out to the Rio Link cloud and just said, hey man, I'm here, no biggie. So now let's go to my mobile phone, my Android phone, and I'm going to connect to it via Wi-Fi. I mean, not Wi-Fi, Wi cellular. Over 5G. One second. Okay, so I'm on my phone. I'm going to click, do auto scroll here. So remember the last thing you've seen is just the occasional 187 byte UDP packet to the IP address here of the Rio Link cloud. I'm now going to open the Rio Link application on the phone. Here we go. It now says play over cellular data. Yes, I press that button, start live streaming. We're streaming, it's working great. Okay, so let's now break out of that. I'm gonna break out of the app. Now, if I go and do Android app info, I can force stop the app, no problem. No issue here, restart it. It recovers gracefully. Okay, and you'll see the traffic going between the 120.51 address and the camera. Now, you'll note that its IP address is 192.168.12. It's on a different VLAN. I'm going to turn on my uh, Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi is on and I have a 192.168.0 address now. Probably 0 0.85. Let's go back to the Rio Link app again and straight away you can see my cleaner there straight away you can see it's silently chosen the correct ip address now i'm not sure what they're doing at the back back end to make that work but it works so ip wise beautiful so let's break out of the app again now let's go and look at frigate So here's Frigate running with the doorbell on this image here. Now the doorbell config in Frigate is the same for any other Rio Link security camera. Just works, even though it's a doorbell. That's pretty neat. Now let's look at the Rio Link Home Assistant integration. So not only by having Frigate integrated with Home Assistant and Frigate seeing the camera can the object and presence detection um, for the camera image be done through Frigate. It can also be done through directly through the camera itself. And uh, this is literally just direct IP connection from the integration in Home Assistant to the camera, to the doorbell. So it's got motion, person detection, you can click on the stream. Uh, you can even do the main stream. It'll tell you if there's a visitor. I believe this is the doorbell button. Once it's pressed, it goes on. And if because of that, because of that, we can go and do any automations we like, any within Home Assistant based on these. We can configure our automatic reply. We can tell it when the automatic reply gets, uh, gets played. 
I suspect that you could probably choose one of these or do custom ones and then say that based on certain things it sees to automatically play messages like leave the parcel at the door because if the visited button gets pressed and we use frigate to detect a parcel because frigate has the TPU, right, the TensorFlow uh, processor running if you've got one or you, if you're using your NVIDIA card for that, you could say if visitor and camera in frigate sees package, then autoplay, please leave package at the door, right? <laughs> this is way better than the rubbish that Google had with their Google doorbell. Now I'm going to go and show you on my phone just how good and instantaneous the doorbell ring is. Right, so here's the doorbell. It's PoE. Um, I have had to cut holes in my wall to get the Ethernet cable run down, but I do a lot of wiring anyway. So but there it is. It's working fine. It does automatically glow when someone walks in front of it, so it has that presence detection. And it comes with a doorbell ringer. It's pre... Uh, paired the doorbell ringer is very loud and instantaneous oh. the all right here we go it's ready to go um, you have the controls on the side there's a volume control there's a settings and a doorbell chime selector Honestly, I can't recall, other than the doorbell chime, I can't recall exactly how to tweak those. Like, one of them might be a pairing button, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Go and press the doorbell. That's a shit chime, but yeah. That worked immediately. Now... I'm using this to replace a Google Nest doorbell, which would take anywhere between 10 seconds and 15 minutes before any of my Google devices would say there was someone at the door. So screw that shit. I'm gonna use Rio Link and Home Assistant to completely automate my life. These are excellent doorbells.